EOS Nation is hiring big time, Star Trek Spock is coming to wax, and much more. Hello EOS Nation, I'm Daniel Keyes, and this is episode 95 of the EOS Hot Sauce. As always, our spicy weekly updates are available in every format. Watch on YouTube, listen on your favorite podcast platform, or read it at eosnation.io. That's also where you can subscribe to the EOS Nation newsletter to get that spicy sauce poured straight into your inbox. However you prefer it, help spread the sauce by smashing that like, subscribing, and ringing the bell. Let's get to this week's spicy goodness. EOS Nation is hiring big time. We have seven open roles for developers, designers, product owners, and data engineers. Join our team and help us build great products on the cutting edge of distributed data and financial instruments on the EOS public blockchain. Help shape EOS Nation's new and existing blockchain applications, such as EOS Name Service, EOS Detective, our decentralized financial instruments, and other secret projects that we've yet to announce. You collaborate directly with EOS Nation's experienced team of blockchain engineers, product managers, and designers to deliver value for EOS. The response so far has been overwhelming. We've received more than 300 resumes in less than three days, which has us really excited for the future of this vibrant community. Get in on the action and let's have fun changing the world together. Go to eosnation.io slash careers to browse and apply for all of our open roles. If all those EOS jobs aren't enough to get you hyped, maybe this will. Leonard Nimoy is coming back to our screens. The veteran actor, best known for his iconic role as Spock in the Star Trek franchise, passed away in 2015, but his family are preparing to further immortalize the legend with intimate photos from his family, life, and career minted as digital collectibles on the Wax blockchain. The Leonard Nimoy NFT collectibles are going to feature the popular sharding feature that involves combining three matching shards of a given card to reveal the full card and its rarity. There will be various pack rarities on display in the collection. The standard pack consists of 10 digital collectible cards for $9.99, while the mega pack consists of 30 cards for $24.99. Just in time for Nimoy's birthday, sales begin on March 25, 2021. Only 3,000 units of each pack will be available, so they're expected to move fast. The first series of Leonard Nimoy collectibles on Wax will feature 255 unique trading cards in six varying rarities, ranging in order of rarity from Base, Blur, Flip, Pixelated, Collector's Edition, and Golden. A portion of the proceeds from the Nimoy NFT collection will be going towards fighting Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Disease, or COPD, to which Nimoy himself eventually succumbed after complications in 2015. The drive to keep his message alive is what spurred Nimoy's daughter, Julie Knight, and her husband, David Knight, to release the series. And Wax is a perfect place to make art that lasts. The Interplanetary File System, more commonly known as IPFS, is a decentralized network to securely store verified digital assets associated with NFTs and collectibles on the blockchain. The collectibles are created, minted, and stored on the mainstream Wax blockchain, but the images are housed across multiple services and computers of the decentralized IPFS network. IPFS recalls the data from one of their servers via web address, but not the location where the data is being stored, which is called web addressing. Rather than a traditional HTTP address that pulls data off a specific site, Content addressing finds the nearest of multiple uniquely identified servers with the NFT's data. Any damage or corruption to that does not affect your result. All it needs to do is find the next nearest server with the requisite quality of data, and ta-da! It's noteworthy that there's still only one legitimate NFT in your Wax Cloud wallet. It's just the image that's being mirrored back across different servers. Each NFT image has its hash, and thus cannot be duplicated. Most major brands in the Wax NFT space, including .gems, use IPFS to securely store these precious images that we all love so dearly. On top of that, .gems also leverages services such as Pinata Cloud, which offers even greater data redundancy while providing the increased speed and stability required for high-quality projects. Speaking of high-quality products, a new governance model is being introduced to the DAP network. The new DAP network governance was introduced in a bid to further cement the network's commitment to decentralization. It empowers DAP token holders with the ability to suggest, debate, and propose changes to the DAP network using a robust proposal system and an elected set of MSIG guardians. The DAP token will be required to participate in the network. It is a key to accessing DAP network services and products, proposing and voting on governance issues, and the running of governance proposals. You can read more about the governance model on the Liquid Apps blog. We've linked to that in the written edition of this episode. In celebration of its second year since launch, Liquid Apps reflected on 2020, the biggest year so far for DAP in terms of development. Here's what they said heading into the year. 
Looking forward to 2020, we believe that by interoperating with one another, individual networks can create win-win scenarios amongst themselves while driving meaningful transformation on a global scale. Whether that was a conviction or a prediction, it's difficult to say at this point. What is sure as steel is that the DAP network has advanced in leaps and bounds since then. The DAP network has honed in on cross-chain bridges over the course of the past year. That's how the network evolved from an EOSIO to EOSIO token bridge into a cross-chain technology generic enough to bridge between any EVM-compatible smart contract chain. We saw that when the bridge activation party brought together some of the finest DAP service providers to launch a universal bridge to Ethereum, which was later expanded to include Polkadot. Moving on now to the metaverse of Upland. The Upland team made a call for submissions for creative videos that represent what's being built on Upland. The release was made in a commemoration of the launch of the Rebuild California event. Aspiring filmmakers from all walks were invited to throw their best efforts into a video depicting the Upland metaverse and its architectural contents for a chance to win between 50,000 to 200,000 UPX and a mythic BCH card. You can find more details in their Discord or by reading the full release linked in the written edition of this episode. Upland is one of the biggest EOS dApps. On March 6, 2021, Upland surpassed 12.5 thousand users in 24 hours, with a whopping 1.46 million transactions over the preceding 30 days. Twitter user OIDN did not miss in its tweet to note the superb progress being made by Upland. The tag chart showed a steady uptrend in statistics from July 2019 till now, although there seemed to be a particular surge in numbers that began towards the end of 2020. On March 2nd, the Upland team confirmed the unlocking of Brooklyn in the Upland metaverse. The unlocking was in two waves, with one at 9 a.m. Pacific time and the other at 9 p.m. Being a mid-tier city, roughly 50% of the properties were FSA allocated, skewed towards the inexpensive end. The February 9th edition of the Upland NFT Artist Spotlight, which usually comprises an interview and an art auction, featured Mar Utah. Utah is a legendary multimedia Upland artist, musician, and community member that has been a core member of the Upland creative community, producing a vast range of unique NFTs, music videos, podcasts, and songs. Want to find out how Utah started creating NFT art, or why art has become the center of the NFT space? Check out the full interview on their YouTube channel and Medium blog. And we're 60% done with the EOS meme contest, and dare I say, it's been an absolute blast. We brought you the three winners from the first round last week, and now the winners from the second and third rounds have been announced. Check out the written edition of this episode to see who had the spiciest memes of round two and three. With two more rounds to go, the EOS meme contest is still in full swing. You can participate to get a shot at winning a share of the prize pool until the conclusion of round five. And that's all for this week's episode of EOS Hot Sauce. But if you got here early enough, there are still NFTs to be won. It's time to race for rares. Five spicy rare NFT winners will be drawn at random, and our favorite YouTube comment will earn this week's Golden Chili. To participate, just fill out the short Google form linked in the comments. But you need to be quick. The form will be closed one hour after this video is published. Good luck and smash that like if you're hyped for some NFTs. And make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss next week's Race for Airs. Once again, I'm your host, Daniel Keyes, and we'll see you again next week. Until then, let's keep it spicy.